Hey, so Tom here, and welcome back to Dark Souls 3. Now, <laughs> we are at the uh, the Grand Archives. Are they called the Grand Archives or the Duke's Archives? I always get confused. But uh, it's some sort of archives. We'll find out in a few seconds, I'm sure. Maybe not. It, it, this game, I feel like the frame rate's really off, but maybe that's just me being weird. I don't know. Uh, the Grand Archives, there we go. I think the Duke's Archives is from the first game. Either way, we got to get through the Grand Archives and get our way to the top. I don't think there's going to be any particular boss fight in this video. Uh, I don't think we're going to get to the Princes, to be honest. That was lucky it missed. There we go, half health. I've also, like, from playing Dark Souls 1, realized, like, why do I not use multiple things? What is wrong with me? You know? Oh, that's why, because we'd be too fat and heavy. Well, that makes sense. All right. <laughs> oh, we don't have Havel's Ring. Oh, that's something we need to do, actually. Or the Ring of Favor. Wait a minute. Where's the Ring of Favor in this game? Because we need both of those things. All right. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold up. This build is not optimized. What is this? One second. I know where the Ring of Favor is, and I know why we don't have it, because it is a pain in the ass to get. But... We are going to go get it because it's actually a really good ring. And honestly, the rings I'm wearing right now are kind of pointless. Like this one, for example. Like, you know, who really cares? Cloak ring's pretty good. Blue tear stone ring I'll definitely take off. So we'll probably take off the life ring. Actually, I'll probably take off the blue tear stone and the princess ring. In replace of the ring of favor and Havel's ring. So I'm going to go do that right now. Uh, after we level up. I've actually forgotten what our build looks like at this point. Uh, so that's 30, so that's done. Endurance, I kind of do want to get that to 30 as well. Uh, you know what? These are all at 30. I'm going to just, I'm going to start smashing endurance, get that to 30. You want a bunch of stamina. I've always uh, kind of done my builds a bit different in Dark Souls 3 than Dark Souls 1, but I'm just, I've just realized that they're actually pretty similar and the builds you can make are fairly similar as well. And you, you want endurance. I sort of always neglect endurance in this game. Like, I sort of hit 100 stamina, I'm like, that'll do. But realistically, like, you want as much stamina as possible, as, uh, like, especially if you want to do some PvP, because you want to be able to do, like, big swings and then roll out the way and then do another big swing or something like that, you know? Uh, so, I've also started using pine resins in this game because I remembered that how good that is to buff your weapon. Again, got reminded by Dark Souls 1. I don't know why we have all of this stuff on us here. Like, uh, anyway, so... So, we're going to go get first, we're going to get Havel's Ring. This is going to be sort of a, almost like a filler episode. Because we're going to go and get some stuff that we need to get. So, I'm going to go and get the... Did I not go to... No, I didn't. Huh. Also, there's going to be a bit of sniffing because my hay fever is playing up because my body hates me. But, uh, yeah, this is going to be, like I say, a bit of a filler episode. We're going to go and get some stuff that we forgot to get earlier on. We want Havel's Ring and we want the Ring of Favor. Uh, because, I mean, pretty much we want to be able to wear, I mean, more shit, you know? The Ring of Favor is actually pretty good, obviously, overall, because it gives you more HP, more stamina, and more equip load. At least I think it does in this game. It does in the first one. And I'm pretty sure it's the same. So, uh, we want that. I've gone to the wrong bonfire. Yeah. Wrong bonfire. It's fine, though, because this isn't Dark Souls 1. You can warp to every bonfire. Uh, I think we want to go to the Keep Ruins. I'm pretty sure this is the right bonfire. No, I'm not. Where the actual hell... Oh, no, 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 this is the right one. This is the right one. This is because you got the little slug palace over on the right. And then the ladder should be somewhere. Where the? Where is the ladder? There's Krabby over there. There's all the slugs making their delicious noise. Oh, there it is. Right there. <laughs> Literally right in front of me. Listen, boyos. It's time for you to move out of the way. Wow. You swing the Zwei Hander so fast in this game compared to Dark Souls 1. Holy shit. So I never actually bothered going up this way, which is terrible of me for a walkthrough because there's a covenant up here. And it's actually a pretty fun one. It's kind of like the covenant in Dark Souls 1 where... If someone goes into the forest, you invade them. And by kind of, I mean basically exactly the same. Uh, so you get a covenant if you equip it. 
Whenever somebody comes to the forest, you invade their world and try and stop them from being in the forest. Also, you get a gesture. Join the covenant. Why not? I think all the covenants are achievements in this as well, so definitely do that. All right, there we go. So we can leave now. So we're going to go and fight uh, the stray demon. He's not a boss. Well, he is a boss, but he doesn't come up as a with a boss health bar. But he is a boss. Let's be real. So we're going to go fight him because then we can trade his soul in to get the Havel, uh, Havel's ring. And then once we do that, then we've got to go and do a much more painful thing. <laughs> and go and fight two spooky boys. Spooky lizard boys. At, um, the Boreal Valley. Irifil of the Boreal Valley. Here he is. Stray demon boy. He may he might kill us. Like even though we're way ahead of this point in the game, he might kill us because he has some long range attacks that are just absolute shit if we don't get there in time. Which is this one, for example. Alright, let's smash these legs to pieces. Nice try, nerd. That's right. I called you a nerd. Alright, this is actually unbelievably easy. He's dead. <laughs> Knocks his legs off. Because that's just the kind of guy I am. This game is so much faster than Dark Souls 1. It's actually unbelievable. The difference when you go straight from one to the other. But uh, that's that done. So now... We have one Homeward Bone left. Go back to the Shrine, trade in the soul... And get Havel's ring. Alright. Where is old uh, tradey boy? He's up here, isn't he? Have we put the... I don't think we put the heads on there, did we? Oh yeah, we did. We did. We've done it. Okay. So. We can transposition. And we want Havel's ring, please. I could also get the Dragon Slayer Great Axe, which is a very, very good weapon. Uh, but... We don't have enough strength to use it right now. It's, a, it's actually such a good weapon. If you get the Dragon Slayer Great Axe to like plus 5, I think it's got one of the highest damage like amounts in the game. I might be wrong about that, but I'm pretty sure if you get it to like plus 5 or... Is it plus 5 for the maximum? Of, yeah, because it's a boss weapon. So if you max it out, it does so much damage. Like, it's crazy. I think on my main character, the Dragon Slayer Great Axe does like 710 damage or something like that. It's so much, but I'm not going to grab it for now. What do I want to do here? Oh yeah, put put Havel's Ring on for a start. That'd be a good, that'd be a good start. There we go. Now we're only at 57%. So I might... Nah, we're still going to get the Ring of Favor. I was going to say I might not bother getting the Ring of Favor. Because now we, we can put both shields on like I wanted. But... The Ring of Favor is still, like, really good. Because, obviously, you get the extra health and all that stuff. So, I am going to go get it. As much of a pain in the ass as it's going to be, I am going to go get it. So, let's go... Do I want the Great Axe? I do, kind of. That's, like, one of the boss weapons that I do. You know, I won't decide now. I'll decide at another point. Uh, we want to go to... I can't remember where it is... Definitely not Anor Londo. Uh, it's at the bottom, so... Pontiff, is it? Yeah, 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 Pontiff. There we go. We need to go to Pontiff. All right, let's go. No hesitation. We're going to sprint straight there. Well, maybe not straight there, because, you know, we don't want to get absolutely destroyed by the things on the way, but we should be fine. I mean, we're probably going to get destroyed by the things that are down there for a start, so that's, <laughs> you know, that's always a bit of a pain but we are going to use the charcoal pine resin to boost our damage hopefully quite a bit there's also two guys here because i haven't beaten them yet or did i i can't remember but regardless we're going to be going past them so it doesn't really matter too much but so this is what i was saying about endurance and how i sort of neglect it because like we can't really sprint for that long oh shit yeah but he's still here oh jesus fucking christ this is bad i can't i can't get out of this We need to get inside. Right now. I forgot about the fireballs. I turned around to fight him like an idiot. I shouldn't have done that. Alright. They are still coming after me. 
Get parried, you silly bitch. Alright, that's one. The other one I don't think is coming, so... Oh, it's so satisfying getting a parry. Alright, this is a... Pretendy wall. That's their official name. Don't forget about it. Oh, God. I really don't want to do this. <clears throat> but we're doing it. Oh, I hate this fight. Fights. Plural. Look. There's not one lizard boy. There's two. The other one's hiding around the corner. I really would like to just get one at a time. If possible. There we go. Beautiful. Oh, God. Please spare me. I can't move! <laughs> there we go. Oh, Jesus. Alright, that's one. They don't respawn either. I was really focusing. I was trying to, like, roll underneath him then. Okay, that's one. There's one out of the way. There's some human dregs. Oh, no, the, the pine resin. Alright, let's do this. Yes! Okay, well, I didn't actually think that was going to get me. Oh, come on. Whoa. 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 Oh, Jesus. Come on, hit it. Oh. Woo. <laughs> we got it. Oh, my God. The pure panic that I feel deep down in my spooky little bones right now. And look at that. The flames ran out just on time. Oh, man. I hate doing that. <laughs> I hate it. If you, you really have to make sure you only get one at a time. If you get both of them running at you at the same time, it's basically game over. And you should just run up the ladder and try again. Also, this is a covenant. Old MacDonald had a covenant. Quite similar to the uh, the forest one, actually. If Whenever someone gets to the um, the Boreal Valley for the first time... You invade them automatically if you have the Covenant equipped. So it's another one where you automatically invade if someone goes to a certain place. Which, I do like those ones. They're interesting. Especially when you have, like, five of you invade at once. I think the most is, like, three. But still. Alright. <laughs> we did it. We got Havel's Ring and we got the uh, Ring of Favor without too much of a problem. Havel's Ring was much easier to get than that. <laughs> Holy shit, we nearly died. They hit so hard, but... Luckily, I hit even harder. Whew. Still panicking, even though we're all done. All right, let's put the ring on. Look at that. Puts us up to 1,500 health. Puts our equip load up to 67, which admittedly isn't that much. And also gives us plus 9 on the stamina. The Ring of Favor in this game is not as good as it is in Dark Souls 1, I don't think. And neither is Havel's Ring. I think in Dark Souls 1, Havel's Ring gives you literally like plus 40 equip load or something stupid. And this is like plus 10, I think. But it's still worth it, in my opinion. Alright, we've got one level. Uh, let's chuck it on. You know what? It's bothering me. Oh, they're both odd. I was going to say, it's bothering me this is 31. Also, it's bothering me that this is a 7. We need to put that up at some point. But uh, for now, I'm going to do Endurance. Alright, I've decided I'm not going to use the Dragon Slayer Great Axe. 
uh, because you can't put buffs on it. And buffs is one of the things that I've got sort of back into doing because they're actually really, really good. And I always forget how good they are. So I'm going to crunch this boy's soul. Goodbye. Cheeky 15,000. Can we get another level out of that? I don't think so. No, not even close. We might be able to. Oh, God, my nose here. Hey, he was starting to kick me in the nuts. What do we need for this? One more Titanite chunk. Okay, uh, that's fine. We don't have any of them. Grey Rat is still dead. I don't know why he wouldn't be dead. But he, but he is. He's still dead. Do we have any Bone uh, bone Ash or whatever it is? Not Bone Ash. That's uh, Bloodborne. No. Okay, Rat. We're ready to go. Let's go to the Grand Archives. I don't know how far I'm going to get through the Grand Archives. We're already at like 20 minutes, but I'll do my best. Let's go. I'm going to try to get the at least, try to get at least the first shortcut open. Holy shit, man! You even sprint really fast in this compared to Dark Souls One. It's nutty. There we go. Got him. Got him. Let's go. Uh, doesn't last as long. We'll chuck on a pine bundle. Alright, now if I remember rightly, we have to go this way. Wow, we sprint so fast. Come back here. You shit. Ah! Toasted. Crystal gem and twinkling titanite. Beautiful. Just what I wanted. Just what the doctor ordered, in fact. Backstabs are so aggressive. They're so loud. <laughs> hey, we got a Titanite chunk. Which means we can upgrade the Zoya Hander. That sounded really unenthusiastic, but honestly, I'm quite enthusiastic about it. Go, get him. Ow. Shit. <laughs> We're covered in clay or. No, not, not clay. Uh, wax. Get your shield out! Wow, they take a... Wow, we might as well just hit them. Backstabs are a waste of time. <laughs> I didn't realize we was doing that much damage just on swings. Dip our head in the wax. For the uh, people that don't know what this does, because I never used to know, it stops you from being cursed by the spooky hands that pop out of the floors and stuff. It lasts for quite long as well. See these spooky hands? They do nothing. Normally they do damage and curse you, I think. Or they might just curse you. I can't remember about the damage part, but... They don't do anything if you have wax on your head. We've got a Chaos Gem and Twinkling Titanite plus another. Two Twinkling Titanite. There's a secret room in here, but I can never remember how to open it. And it's just got a whip in it and a Pyromancy, so I'm just going to leave that for now, because... I'm not about that Pyromancy, okay? Titanite scale, always nice. Oh, this this why I is so fast in this game. It's beautiful. Wow, we dropped a crystal gem, nice. Alright, we need to we got a lot of twinkling titanite. Oh, I was gonna say we need to watch out for the Crystal Mage Sage. I really like the Alvar armor set. It just looks so nice. Oh, shit. Oh, Jesus. Oh, no. Heal up, heal up, heal up. Who the fuck shot that at me, huh? You want some? Oh, what the fuck hit me there? This boy's... What? This boy's got black fire bombs. What? Wow, I've never noticed that. That he throws black fire... They must be. They can't be regular fire bombs. He did three quarters of my health with one bomb. I didn't realize we were covered in wax. That's why I wasn't bothering to block. In case anyone's wondering... 
If I had noticed we were covered in wax, I would have just blocked the bombs. But I pressed B to roll and then he just done like a little step. Which is always nice. Oh, come on. You never do that shit. Let me fucking... I'm pressing B, you fuck. You piece of shit. I hate that Crystal Sage so much. <laughs> oh, God damn it. What a pain in the ass. We were so close to the second shortcut as well. I honestly have never known that that, that guy throws, throws black fire bombs. I've never like let him live long enough to try it out. I need to start playing this a bit more like Dark Souls 3 because right now I'm just kind of running at people and expecting them to miss. But all the enemies are like way faster in this game. Like Dark Souls 1, you can just sort of walk around people because they're slow. Like because you're slow, the enemies are slow. But in this, you're fast, so the enemies are fast. I need to like remember that and <laughs> actually like roll out the way and stuff rather than just trying to walk around them. Wow, I can't believe... I still can't get over how much damage those firebombs do. They must be black firebombs. They can't not be. Definitely do not want to be getting hit. With, um... With wax. Like, oh, that was close. <laughs> Literally as I say it. Uh, yeah, definitely don't want to be getting hit by wax. Right now. Because if we get hit by wax, that is... Apparently a death sentence, because we just can't, can't roll out of the way of anything. Right, hit him once so he leaves. And then, ah, we got hit with a wax again. Oh wait, did we? No, I think we're fine. Okay, never mind. Right, hit him with a two smasher. Get our souls back. Run up to this dude before he blows our entire life up with one bomb. Nice. Alright, don't let him get wax on us. Alright, we did it. Holy shit. Definitely prioritise Bomb Boy. <laughs> he has a lot of damage going. Oh, shit. He has a lot of damage output that you don't want up in your life, okay? Driving stone, don't really need that, but I'll grab it anyway. And now you, my friend, you're in some trouble, I'm telling you that now. So I think when you kill the Crystal Sage, you, oh really, come on man. I think when you kill the Crystal Sage, it drops a crystal scroll, which is really good for sorcerers. I'd really like your death animation. There we go. Crystal scroll. So the crystal scroll is... I think... I don't normally do sorcerer builds, so I don't actually know. But I think it's the best set of spells in the game. So you get like crystal soul spear, crystal homing, soul mass, stuff like that. And they are really, really powerful. So if you're a sorcerer... I would highly recommend killing the Crystal Sage and getting that scroll because it is very, very powerful. Alright, there we go. That shortcut's unlocked. And we are therefore getting pissed off with these stupid little shits being everywhere all the time. Another Titanite chunk. Boy, I am ready to upgrade my big boy sword. Alright. So you know what? We're going to go back to the campfire. It's not a campfire. This is not a camping game. We're going to go back to the bonfire. Go back to Finding Shroud. We're going to get a couple of levels because we just got a shitload of souls from doing that one shortcut. We're going to level up the Zwei Hander and then we're going to call it a day. So, first things first, we're going to level up the Zwei Hander because I don't want to spend too many souls and then not be able to do it. We got like a lot of Titanite chunks. We might even be able to get two levels. I'm not sure. I only goes to plus 10 in this game. No, it's going to be... We're going to need 6. Okay, so we need 4 more Titanite chunks. And then it will be the Titanite slab, which we have because we did Sigurd's quest line. And Sigurd gives you a slab. 
at the end of his quest line because he is a right old oniony lad in the best way possible. So we're going to be able to get one level, maybe two, two. Okay. Okay. Waste of a level, but it's bothering me that it's not an even number. I'm sorry. And then we'll do, put one on strength. So we've got even numbers across the board. Very, very nice. Okay, so I'm going to chuck in our quick bar. I'm going to take these two out for a start because they're not really needed. So, what kind of resins have we got? We got magic, we got dark, we got poison, and we got the quick charcoal one. I think that's it. That is it. Okay, I'm going to have just all these because any buff is better than no buff. I mean, if you're fighting something that's immune to magic. For example, when you put a magic buff on, it doesn't make you do less damage. You still do more, just not as much more. So, like... So, I think right now, I say, the Zwei Hand is doing 400 damage, to keep it simple, right? And then it adds 100 magic damage. If you're fighting something that is 50% resistant to magic, you'll still do the extra 50 magic damage on top of the 400 physical. Like, it doesn't split it up, I don't think. Like, it doesn't add them together and then take off 50% of your whole damage, it will just take off 50 magic, but the whole physical will still go through. It's the same way shields work, so it blocks 100% physical, but only 40% fire, so having any kind of buff is always better than no buff in a boss fight, because even if they're resistant to it, you're still getting all the physical and that little bit extra, so and even better if they're weak to it, like if they're weak to it, then it's going to do the full 100 extra damage which is obviously what you want so there you go some hot tom's tips or tom's hot tips or tip tom's hot I, I don't know where this joke is going but that is the end of the video so i know where i'm going which is to go pee because i've needed to pee for like the last 20 minutes <laughs> so that is going to be it for today so thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed the video don't forget to hit that like button and comment down below or subscribe to the channel for more videos and that stuff is massively appreciated as always i'll see you in the next video and goodbye